All right, so episode two of the Skydive Vibes 10 in 10 challenge. So in this episode, I wanted to tell you more about the timeline of the 10 in 10 challenge, which is, as you already know, in my last video about the 10 in 10 challenge that you can rewatch by clicking here. Well, the 10 in 10 challenge is about doing 10 hours of wind tunnel time in 10 weeks prior to the Canadian Indoor Skydiving Championships in March 2019. It's a pretty big challenge to do because I'm what we call a beginner in indoor skydiving. And especially in the discipline I'm gonna participate in, the freestyle at the intermediate level. So I'm still a little bit anxious about this whole project because it's getting near fast. In order to prepare 10 weeks prior, my training needs to start around January 13th. And to be able to achieve this challenge and to be able to do 10 hours of wind tunnel time, part of the challenge is also to raise funds to make this a reality. So I must say that really the biggest challenge isn't about training and participating to the championship. It's about raising the funds to make it happen. And especially because, well, since I need to start training around January 13th, I need well to have the funds by then. And when I scheduled everything, I didn't notice that, well, there was the holiday season in between and so that companies are closed and all the answers I was supposed to receive will be delayed because of the biggest time of the year for sales and stuff. Oof, didn't expect that. So to raise the funds, I'm reaching out to companies for sponsorship. And for me, a sponsorship, it's really important that it has value both sides. So it's not only about me telling them that, hey, I want a sponsorship, but then thank you for the sponsorship. I want to provide in return. And how I'm planning to do that in this 10 in 10 challenge, it's by offering exposure. Because the challenge also includes me documenting every week up to the championship on my YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. So this makes it very interesting because you guys are listening to the videos and it's a great opportunity for those sponsors to be seen. So I've reached out to a lot of companies, whether in the skydiving industry or out. And up to now I've received, well, a lot of no's. And that's actually a good thing. Let me explain. I've raised sponsorships prior in my life for other projects. And what I learned is, maybe you've heard about it, it's about the Pareto law, which says that from all the requests you'll make, 80% will be negative and only 20% will be positive. So for every no's that I get, I'm getting nearer from that possible yes. So this is what keeps me motivated in this process because every day I'm reaching out to a lot of different companies hoping that they would see an opportunity for them to get exposure and sponsor me back. And up to now, uh, while I was reaching out to different companies, different foundations, I did meet a lot of great people. And especially, I did find Aeronautrix. Aeronautrix is a brand new foundation which goal is to empower more women into the skydiving sport. So whether it's by lending gear to the women who wants to progress or helping them in sponsorships to help them progress into the sport or compete, well, they are a great foundation for that. And also they are classified as a charity. So a good thing for donators is that they get the tax benefits out of it. So Aeronautrix did accept to sponsor me in my 10 in 10 challenge. And so we're doing a fundraising right now to make that challenge possible. So if you feel generous, especially in this holiday season, well, check down in the description below, you'll find a link to donate. And also by the same way, you are helping more women to get into the skydiving sport. Did you know that there's only 14% of women in skydiving in Canada and US? So it's pretty impressive and we could do better. The next thing that I wanna do to raise money is a holiday contest. So if it's not live yet, it's gonna be pretty soon and you'll find the links in the description below, but it's a contest where you could win a perfect skydiver kit. So I'm pretty excited for this contest and I'm excited to give back to you guys because it's the holiday season, of course. So if you wanna get more info on this contest, once it's live, you'll get the link to the explanation page and the contest rules in the description below. So feel free to go check it out and make sure to act fast because there's only a limited number of tickets. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Stay tuned because over the next weeks, I'm gonna go over the freestyle discipline that I'm gonna participate in, all the requirements, the details of the 
the actual competition, but also I'm gonna start talking about how do I get ready for my wind tunnel training. So until the time that I'm gonna be training in the wind tunnel, I can do some things, some type of training, some type, I can watch some type of videos to help me get ready to perform better in my wind tunnel trainings. So stay tuned for that and it will also help you along the way. And if you want to again contribute in making this challenge possible, you can either donate or if you don't have any funds to invest, well, no problem, simply share this video because the more people will see this challenge, the more chance we'll have to make it happen all together. My goal over this challenge is not only to participate into the championship, but share with you the process, the trainings. I'm gonna share the actual raw footage of me in the wind tunnel. I want to make public my coach debriefs. So it's gonna be really interesting for anyone who wants to improve their skills in the sky. So give a like to this video if you want to see more. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see in this video series, but please share the word around to make all that possible so that I can give you even more valuable content. All right, so on that, as always, keep jumping, stay safe and blue skies.